Hello, this is Nicole with Square One Art. Welcome to our lesson on making a koi fish artwork. Please feel free to pause the video at any point. The lesson plan is available for download on our Pinterest page. You will find this and many more inspiring ideas there. In this lesson, we will discuss materials, the elements of art, and painting techniques. To get started, you will want to gather your supplies. I found all of these supplies at my local dollar store. If you don't have any art supplies at home, it's time to be creative. You can use a collage technique with any of our lesson plans. Find paper from around the house, food packaging, junk mail, magazines, and along with glue, you can use that to make your masterpiece. Of course, ask your parent for permission first. Please keep in mind not to use any 3D, glitter, metallic, or neon. Your paper will need to be a square. Your school may have provided our Square One Art paper, or you can download and print it. You can also cut any paper into a square no smaller than about eight inches. Here are the items I gathered for this koi fish lesson plan. Paper cut into a square, pencil and eraser, crayons, washable watercolor paints, salt, paintbrushes, and water. Let's start by looking at some of the images of koi fish. We are seeing an overhead view of these fish. Let me lead you on a directed drawing. First, let's start with two raindrop shapes. Add tails and two fins. Use half circle shapes for the eyes. Lighten your sketch with an eraser if you need to. Trace the koi fish with two warm analogous colors. I'm going to choose orange and yellow. Color in the white and black details of the eyes. Next, we will use a watercolor resist technique to paint the background. I'm going to use blue paint because it is a complementary color to orange and it will make it stand out. When I paint, I'm only going to do a small area at a time. I'm going to sprinkle salt over it. To make the salt technique work, I will need to sprinkle it while the paint is still wet. So paint and sprinkle and paint and sprinkle and so on and so forth. Do not touch the salt until the paint is completely dry. After it is dried for an hour or so, shake the salt off into a trash can. You might need to wipe it gently with your hands to get some of it off. Now notice the underwater bubble pattern it makes. Beautiful! Make your artwork bold and colorful. Center the drawing and fill the entire paper with vibrant colors. Don't submit any off-center designs with white space that appears unfinished. Erase unwanted marks and smudges, color darkly. You are finished creating your masterpiece when it can clearly be seen from across the room. Make sure to sign your artwork and don't sign too close to the edge or your signature may appear cropped. Your next step will be to take a photo of your artwork from directly above in natural lighting and upload it via the link your school will provide you. Please watch our video on how to take a photo of your art. After uploading, you can shop all of our keepsake items and treasure your artwork for years to come. If you have any questions, please call our customer care department. Have fun creating today. It starts with the art.